How to make fire in Blender 3D. I'm using version 2.63. Basically, the easiest and fastest way to make fire is click on your object, press space bar, and start to type the word quick. As you see, you get quick fluid, smoke, explode, or fur. Now these are just good starting points for simulations. So what we're gonna do is quick smoke. And then on the left down here, you can pick the style of your smoke. If you don't have this little thing, you can press T and your toolbar comes up. So for the style, I'm gonna go stream, puff, or fire. I'm gonna pick fire. And we already have fire. Uh, this is the domain. The domain is basically a box that encloses the smoke or the fire. As you can see, like if you had a fire inside, you'd want this domain to be the shape of the room it was in. If, if you had like an outside fire, you'd have to make this box really big and it would take a lot more CPU. Um, to change the amount of fire, you're just going to click on the emitter. You're going to go over to the properties panel, click on particles. You can see it already created a smoke particle system for you. Just turn this number down to have less fire. Uh, so this is when will the fire start, like which frame and the timeline down here. This is when will the fire end, so right now the fire will burn for 250 frames. Um, this is the lifetime of each particle, so basically like if it's one, the fire will burn out, the little particle of, the little flame will burn out faster. If it's higher, it'll take longer. To make the smoke look a little bit better, you would click on the domain. Go over here to the physics tab, come down to smoke high resolution, and you can increase the divisions and it'll make it look a little bit better. Or you can uncheck it if you want it to be fast. But I would suggest when you're setting it up, use the same settings you're gonna use later because by changing it for the render, it will look completely different. Um, and let's say you want to change the color of the fire. Again, click on the domain. You're going to go to the domain's material. Um, so the color is actually controlled by the domain and not the emitter. So we go to the domain, domain material, domain texture. Go to smoke heat, not smoke density, but smoke heat. Click on this color thing and you've got a little color ramp that kind of controls how the flames work. For example, if we wanted a purple fire, we just do that, go to purple, changes that part to purple, we want like a green, it's kind of like a psychedelic fire looking thing. So that is an easy way to make fire in Blender 3D.